Howdy y'all, my name is Wyatt Nunn and welcome back to TSPN, your home for Tiger Athletic News. We're going to begin this week discussing MU football as they travel to Eastern Alabama for their first SEC contest against the Auburn Tigers. This is a mess overall for the Missouri Tigers, especially in the first quarter, when they allowed two early touchdowns to Auburn. However, they would rebound in the second quarter with two separate rushing touchdowns by Cody Schrader and Brady Cook. Going into the second half, it was a defensive masterclass for both teams. There was 12 straight punts, eight of which were three and outs. Then, late in the fourth quarter, there would be a Mizzou connection from Brady Cook to Dominic Lovett, a 39-yard completion that would set up a game-winning field goal from Mizzou star kicker Harrison Nevis. Yet, the 26-yard shot was not a gimme, as Mevis's kick went right at the upright, sending this game into overtime. Auburn would get a quick field goal in overtime, putting Missouri in a must-win situation. On the second play of their offensive overtime drive, Sanford running back transfer and Columbia native Nathaniel Pete would break a big run towards the end zone, but he would fumble the ball before crossing the goal line. That would result in a touchback, giving Auburn the win and giving Mizzou a 2-2 two two record, 0-1 in the SEC. Outside of the completely crazy ending to this game, the bigger storyline involved Mizzou five-star wide receiver Luther Burton, who, after seeing no targets or receptions in this contest, would delete all Mizzou posts and mentions from his Instagram page. This is a story that is sure to develop in the coming weeks. Next, we move on to Mizzou Volleyball, who also started SEC play this week with a trip to Knoxville to face the Tennessee Volunteers. This was a blowout for Mizzou, who lost this contest in an 0-3 sweep with scores of 25-14, 25-20, 20, uh, and 25-21. One bright spot for the Tigers in this game was Kaylee Cox, who con continues to have a stellar sophomore season. In this game, she recorded 16 kills, one block, and one ace. Other highlight or other notable players from Mizzou included Riley Buckley, who had 22 assists, and Leandro Manuel Duran, who had seven digs. Mizzou will be home for their next SEC matchup this Wednesday as they invite the nationally ranked Kentucky Wildcats to the Hearn Center. Finally, we're going to end this episode discussing some MU soccer. Uh, they had two separate SEC matchups this week following their big win against the Auburn Tigers. For the first of these, they traveled to LSU to face the Tigers. Um, Mizzou led early in this contest with sophomore Kylie Dubs getting her third goal of the season. Despite the early lead, LSU would come back with two late goals. They would win this game 2-1. to one. Mizzou heads back to Columbia, still searching for their first road victory of the season. Then on Sunday, the Vanderbilt Commodores would visit Audrey Walton Stadium for Mizzou's third SEC matchup. It was a fairly stagnant contest, uh, contest with Mizzou failing to convert on eight shots on goal and Vanderbilt on five. It was looking like this one would be a tie before Vanderbilt scored two back-to-back -back goals late in this contest coming at the 87th and 89th minute. Vanderbilt would win this game 2-0. Mizzou soccer now has a 4-5-1 record with a 1-2 SEC record. They will host the Mississippi State Bulldogs this Friday for their fourth, fourth SEC contest. And that is all for TSPN. Thank you all for tuning in for this episode, and we'll catch you next week.